My name is David Cohn. I'm the CEO and founder of Regroup Therapy. Regroup Therapy is all about bringing high quality mental health services to patients who need the highest levels of care across the United States. And I think one thing people don't know is that 55% of U.S. counties don't have any mental health clinicians in them. At the same time, though, about a quarter of the population will need access to mental health services every year. So there's this market mismatch. We fix it. The innovation that landed us the Chicago Innovation Award focuses on this idea of, of Regroup, our company, bringing a network of high-quality mental health clinicians together with processes and workflows and technology that allow us to virtually deliver those clinicians to the places where the access is needed. In other words, uh, patients with high levels of mental health needs typically already go to physicians or hospitals where they live, but they might not have the capacity at those hospitals for those specialty services. We pipe them in using live video, these workflows, to integrate them tightly and to provide a high level of care coordination so that um, patients, and for that matter, healthcare entities don't have to change the way that they're doing anything, but they still get access to these high-quality mental health clinicians in a place where you can make a big impact on these patients. The biggest challenge I've faced as the founder and the CEO of Regroup is um, that at the beginning I had to do everything myself. We had no funding, nobody was working with us, and by necessity, you, you just do, you do it all. And then as you grow, that which allowed you to be successful up to that point is absolutely the wrong thing to do in order to continue to grow. You, you really have to then change your focus to finding the right people, recruiting them effectively, engaging them, keeping them happy, and, and, and letting them do their thing. Every person on the team now is better at that job than I ever was at it, but learning how to let go and let them do their job was really tough. So the best business advice that I've been given was from uh, an executive who'd worked in healthcare for a long time. And he basically said, look, this is a conservative type of work. And if you get it wrong, the consequences are horrible. People who work in healthcare don't have a lot of capacity to absorb change. They're gonna do things the way that they do them. So coming in with the best and most innovative product isn't the product that wins in healthcare. Rather, it's the one that really solves the problem and that's easy to integrate, that's easy to consume and use. And so we've really engineered everything we do around this idea that if we're gonna be successful out there, it has to be dead simple for both health systems and community entities and jails to use our service, but also for the patients to use it. We can't push any sort of change onto our, onto our customers or onto the end patient consuming the services.